Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. Did you ever catch yourself knocking on wood or going poo, poo, poo? (laughs) Because you didn't want to have a jinx or have an evil eye cast on you or have something unfortunate happen. Well, I know that I catch myself. And something interesting that I was taught was that knocking on wood is actually symbolic of knocking on the cross that Jesus was hung on, which I never knew at all. And that was confirmed by several Christian experts. I did not know that that's what that meant. I grew up my whole life knocking on wood because I saw my parents knocking on wood. Now, I have no idea if you shouldn't do that if you're not Christian, but I just think it's interesting that most people don't understand where that comes from. Same thing with poo, poo, poo. Now, the poo, 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 I think is a modified version of spitting like you're spitting out the evil or God forbid that evil should happen to you. I didn't do a deep dive into the research. These are just things that I've been told. There is an interesting book called The Evil Eye, The History, Mystery, and Magic of the Quiet Curse. This book was written by Antonio Pagliarulo. I did not read the book. I read this article by David Roos called The Evil Eye's Ancient Power Still Resonates Today. It was from April 2023. And the article was on how stuff works because I was trying to really understand how the evil eye supposedly wards off evil. And I came across this book and I came across this article and it was so fascinating. So are you familiar with the different images and amulets that have been around for centuries? They are across all cultures for thousands and thousands of years. You can look in the history of India, Israel, Turkey, Egypt, Greece, America, of course, It goes on and on. There are symbols that people wear to ward off the evil eye all over the globe. What I find interesting is that a lot of people who get cancer think that it was cast on them by somebody who was jealous or resentful or angry or just really mad at them. And I I don't know. I think a lot of cancer has to do with our own inability to process our own pain or our own anger. People do blame others for why they got cancer. And there are cultures where if someone stares at you or glares at you, you do certain things to ward off that intense stare or glare. And those can be yelling at people, hand motions, prayers. I just find the whole topic really interesting. Pregnant women will wear the symbols or they will put it on the baby's blankets or on their crib or on their stroller it is so common. We just don't realize it because we're not 
looking for it. Oh my gosh, there are so many crazy fun ways to remove the evil eye. And I saw them all over the internet. Some people say that you rub salt either on your palms or around your house. Some people urinate and they pour it in front of their house. We talked about amulets like the evil eye, red string, or the hamsa. But also, some people wear a coral bracelet. Some people hang a six-sided mirror. And there are lots of hand gestures that you can do. Some people say that if you have the person touch the person that made the evil eye, because it could have been unintentional, that can cure it or heal it. And then there's a bunch of rituals with eggs. A lot of people go to different mystics or healers who supposedly have extra power and connection into the energy field to have them remove it, often by touch. I even read about a ritual with mustard oil and then waving it in a certain cadence around the body. It's truly fascinating. I think that I could (laughs) keep researching and keep telling you all these different ways Simply prayer also is something that's written about over and over again, different prayers to remove the evil eye. There must be something to it because it's across so many cultures, so many countries, so many religions. I almost forgot. I even read that some people use garlic, but here's one for you. They spit in your face. I'm not kidding. It's one of the ways that people think you remove an evil eye. You spit in the person's face. (laughs) I hope we never have evil eyes on us. So what do you think? Do you think you were cursed and that's why you got cancer? Are you doing anything to ward off? this evil energy, I would try anything. That's just me. I try anything. I remember that I got a Hamza, I got a Nazar. I said prayers. I actually had a very wise old woman throw silver I think I mentioned this in another episode, but it's so appropriate here. Someone said you have to go sit with this woman. She throws hot silver into a pot and tells you how many evil eyes have popped up that are helping keep your cancer growing. I didn't care whether it was phony or not phony. I was so curious to see what this experience was like. And so I went and then she counted how many evil eyes popped up in the silver. And then I had to say some prayers and then I went home. All I know is I don't have cancer. Whether that woman who did this removal of the evil eye actually worked for me, who knows? But As I said, I was so in search of healing and so in search of a way to get rid of advanced cancer because they had told me to get my affairs in order and that there was nothing more they could do for me. So if a woman from the Middle East could throw silver and help remove evil eyes that might be fueling the energy that is stopping my body from healing, why not? I know it sounds wackadoodle, but I had a lot of fun doing it. And who knows? Thank God I'm here many, many decades later. So I would love to know what superstitions you're doing to escape the evil eye. I know a lot of celebrities wear this, particularly celebrities that the paparazzi stalks. I'm not going to mention them. It's all over social media. 
in photographs and also in comments, but there are a lot of celebrities that walk around with the evil eye because they do have stalkers. Sebastian Maniscalco, who is just a really fun comedian, often talks about being Italian, married to a Jewish woman, and he brings out a lot of the flavor in being Italian. And he talks about when he got his first car, his dad hung a big red horn in his car. (laughs) And that was to ward off the evil eye. But he said when the women he was dating who were not Italian got in the car, they would say, why does your car have a red pepper hanging in it? And he would have to explain that it's not a red pepper, it's a horn, and that it warns off evil that his dad made him put it in his car. It's just a cute little bit if you have a chance to catch it. So I hope, I hope that you contact me and let me know either by recording or by writing me a note at comedycures.org how you feel about this superstition and how you feel about wearing an amulet or doing these things to remove any negative energy. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. If you loved today's episode, then tell the world. Why? Because Beating Cancer Daily and our membership circle are both a listener and donor supported experience. So the more people you tell and the more people that join us, the more robust and interesting programs our nonprofit, the Comedy Cures Foundation, can bring to you throughout the year. I really want you to go to comedycures.org. And of course, I always want you to make a donation. It's tax deductible to the extent allowed by law. But what's super exciting is not only can you laugh and explore the comedy there, you can look at our membership levels and find the one that's great for you. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, gift one to a chemo brother or sister or to a caregiver that you just want to help them improve the quality of their day. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.